Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna just dive right in. We are gonna be reviewing the new Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I haven't even worn this. I got this two days ago. It's Thursday, I got this on Tuesday. I haven't opened it. I have refrained from opening it and touching it and playing with it because I really wanted to experience this for the first time in this video. I am gonna wear it throughout the day and do several check-ins with you guys throughout the day, so this is not gonna be a first impression. You are gonna see how this wears on my skin after an entire day wear. Right now, it is 11 a.m. Um, I have a pretty full day, lots of running errands, um, picking kids up, taking them to different activities. Um, so we have, I feel like, a pretty good average day. It's like 100 degrees here in Austin, so this is definitely gonna put it to the test. I have my skincare on. The last product that I applied was my moisturizer and SPF. Um, I thought about applying the um, a primer with this, but I decided not to because when I was reading the benefits of this foundation, it claims to um, help minimize pores, and therefore I don't really wanna... I really want to see how it does it on its own. So we are not going to wear a primer with this. Before we get started, I'm going to kind of jump into what the benefits of this are. I just kind of screenshotted this from the website, you guys. So my apologies. I just don't want to forget anything. There are a lot of claims with this foundation. So I just want to make sure that I kind of highlight the ones that stand out the most. So to me, what really appears to make this foundation different is it sounds like it is a skincare treatment. It claims to visibly reduce the appearance of wrinkles up to 22% after eight weeks of use. Um, it comes in 44 shades. Uh, it has magic replexium to significantly reduce the appearance of wrinkles and moss cell tech one to boost hydration by up to 216% and air cool for an instant fresh feel on the skin. So all of those things sound fantastic. I mean, who doesn't want hydrated skin, less wrinkles and um, a fresh feel on the skin. It's supposed to be a very lightweight uh, natural matte finish is what it's described as. So it claims to be an all day weightless full coverage formula that has a natural matte finish. I mean, all of this sound like my perfect foundation. Um, it also says a flawless poreless look, which if you guys hear me ever complain about anything about my skin, it is the size of my pores here. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in. I picked up the shade five neutral and you can see I haven't even opened it. It is still taped closed. So let's go ahead and open it. I have to say her packaging is just Beautiful, beautiful. I don't think you can purchase a makeup product that is, in my opinion, the brand as a whole is just, it makes you feel, it's a higher end uh, brand, right? You you do spend, um, I believe this was, how much was this? Yes, it was $44. So um, I don't own a ton of Charlotte Tilbury products. I have definitely purchased more recently, um, but I have a fair amount, but I, I def, it is a brand that I hesitated purchasing for so long because we didn't have a counter in my in my area. Now we do. And it was, it was at that price point that I just didn't feel comfortable spending the money on without being able to test it and feel it first. But honestly, you guys, every product of hers that I've tried, I've really enjoyed. So hopefully this is no different. This is the bottle. You guys have already probably seen this in several videos, so I won't spend too much time on it. Absolutely beautiful, oval shaped. It's just stunning. I mean, I just, I just think it's stunning. So I'm going to go ahead and dispense one pump onto my hand. That is just one pump. I want to apply a little more, but I'm not gonna do that. And I'm actually gonna apply it two ways. I'm gonna apply it with a beauty blender on one side and then a brush on the other. So the texture of it does feel very lightweight. For being a full coverage, it feels like almost like a serum foundation in my opinion. It has a very lightweight feel. So I'm gonna just kind of dot this on my face. This shade looks a little a little yellow to me. And this is, I got the neutral, didn't I? Yeah, I got five neutral. All right, then I'm gonna take my BK Beauty 101 brush. This is by far our best selling brush, you guys. We are so close to selling out. By the time that this video goes up, we might already be sold out. It's been the favorite by far. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of press in the center of my face because this is a full coverage foundation. You know, I wanna get that coverage. So I'm just gonna kind of press here. And then when I get to the perimeter, I'm gonna kind of pull my brush down so that I can sheer out and blend out any product there. Okay, so I do think that my pores have slightly softened. They didn't disappear. I can still see them, but they do look to have softened a, blit, a bit, blurred a little bit. So that is nice. Okay, it does tend to dry pretty quickly, I noticed. I really don't need to, it didn't take a lot of work to blend it in. I think that I spent a little more time than necessary blending it in, but it did, it did kind of set pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go in. I'm actually gonna take the brush this time and just dip the tip of it in a little bit there. And then we're just gonna kind of go to the forehead like so and kind of press. And then I'm gonna pull it down and cover my nose on my right side. Okay, so far I really like the finish. 
Definitely a natural matte, not powder dry. It doesn't look heavy. Um, I do see a little bit of a glow, but honestly, I think that's because I just got a dermaplane and a BBL treatment done yesterday. And so my skin is just naturally glowing like crazy from that. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. Obviously that is a good thing. Okay, that really blended in really nicely. I like that. Okay, then we're gonna go to the other side. You can see I have these dark spots from my BBL treatment. A BBL basically uh, pulls pigmentation up from the skin. It brings it to the surface before it flakes off. So right after having a treatment done that day and a few days after, your spots are darker. So this is gonna take a little more work to cover. I'm actually gonna put some right on top of that spot. That is one spot that I... Um, I'm hoping it really goes away from this BBL treatment. We will see. I've had one and it didn't go away. It lightened a little bit, but didn't go away. Hoping the second treatment is what does it. So next I'm gonna go to my beauty blender and I'm just going to just bounce that over the product. This does seem to dry kind of quickly. So my thought is, is that you probably want to work in sections rather than dotting it all over the skin and trying to blend it in all at once. Uh, just kind of work on, in sections of the face. That way you're not working on one side while the other side is drying, making it harder to blend out. Okay, this also blends in really nice with the Beauty Blender. I feel like it's kind of very comparable. I don't really see much of a difference. Our 101 brush applies foundation um, in a very natural-like finish. So even if you, even though you can get full coverage with that brush, it's going to look very natural. I think that's why everyone loves this brush. They call it the magic brush, I've, as I've seen so many reviews. Um, so it almost kind of works well like a beauty blender. You know, I've always loved beauty blenders because they apply full coverage foundations in, in a natural way. And our honestly, our one-on-one -on -one brush does the same thing. I really can't see a difference between application and the two sides. I did add a little bit more foundation and I'm gonna add a little more to this side. Kind of, oh, wrong thing, wrong tool. I'm gonna blend that in with the brush. Okay, so I can still see that. I'm gonna add more foundation there and just kind of conceal it with my finger, use my finger to apply it to see if I can get more coverage that way. So I'm just gonna take my foundation on my finger. We're gonna do that and we are just gonna tap, lightly tap with my finger. That spot is really dark and especially now after my treatment. Okay, but you can see it covered it pretty well. I mean, you can still see a little bit of it poking through, but it did cover it really well. Then what I'm gonna do after I've blended in right over the pigmentation of my finger, I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender and just kind of blend out around that. I haven't applied concealer, so my concealer is also gonna help a little bit. Okay, so that there is what we look like. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can see, and then I'll apply my concealer shortly after that. Okay, so this is what the skin looks like. The foundation's been setting for, I don't know, maybe four or five minutes, so plenty of time to kind of fully set. I do see a lot of glow here, but again, I think that's just my skin from this treatment and the products that I've been using on my skin lately, which I am planning an updated skincare routine video very, very soon because I've incorporated some new products into it and I'm so excited to share them with you because they have made such a change in my skin. Um, but this is what the foundation looks like. To me, it looks very glowy. Again, I don't think that's the foundation. Uh, so definitely not a heavy looking matte foundation. I think the shade is pretty good for me. Um, I do hear that this kind of darkens a little bit. I haven't quite seen that. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply concealer in the rest of my makeup, set it with powder, and then I'll be back to kind of give you my final thoughts on the first application. And then we will check in throughout the day to see how it wears. <laughs>
right, so here we are. The makeup's been on for about 15 minutes or 20 minutes or so. I've applied the rest of my makeup. I've used a setting powder. I used the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder on top of this. I even applied a cream blush on top of that. Um, it has oxidized or turned a little bit darker on my skin than it was when I first applied it. The finish to me looks like a full coverage foundation. I wouldn't say that it looks really natural. It doesn't really look natural to me, but it doesn't look heavy either. Um, I do like it at this point. It definitely is a foundation. Knowing what I know about it at this point, it's a foundation that I probably wouldn't wear every single day, but it would be a foundation that I wear when I'm wearing a bit more makeup and I want my makeup to, well, I shouldn't say to last all day because I have no idea how it's gonna last on me. That's what this video is for. But this wouldn't be a foundation that I'd probably reach for on the days that I want something natural and light looking because it doesn't really quite give that look. Um, as far as it being poreless looking, I, I don't know that I can say that. At first I thought that maybe it was smoothing out my pores, but as I've applied the rest of my makeup, they kind of look like they normally do. So it is 11, 45 now, 11.47. Um, I have lots of errands to run. I'm gonna be checking with you guys today, so we will recap at the end of the day and see how this looks. Hey guys, it is about 3.45. I'm getting ready to take the take one of my little ones to gymnastics, but I wanted to pop on and give you guys an update on the foundation. So I'm standing in front of a window, natural light. I don't have any lights on in the room. I don't have any ring lights or anything like that in front of me. Um, so I just took a peek in the mirror um, to just kind of evaluate the situation. I haven't touched up at all. So I haven't set with any powders or done anything since I uh, filmed this morning at 11. I've been outside running errands just back and forth from my car, but it's very, very hot. So even walking out to your car, you get pretty hot. Uh, to me, this does not look like a, a, a matte foundation, a natural matte foundation. There is a lot of glow, but again, I think that's my skin and the skincare products I've been using. I think my skin is just exceptionally glowy right now because I had the dermaplane yesterday and I think that's what we're seeing. Like I said, it still looks, it looks very similar to how it did earlier. I don't really feel the need to touch up. There is a little bit around the nose here that looks to be um, kind of fading, but otherwise it looks really good. Um, I would say that this is a good makeup day. I like the way that the um, blush, I was wearing a cream blush and it still looks really, really nice on the skin. Um, I don't really feel the need to touch up to be totally honest. I am going to put a little bit of powder just here in the center because it's about four o'clock. I'm gonna hop in the car, head to gymnastics, and then I won't really have a chance to touch up until probably 6, 6.30. And by then, <laughs> I wanna stay ahead of the touch-ups rather than look in the mirror in three hours and realize my foundation's broken apart because I've gotten super oily. So just wanted to give you this quick update, kind of show you how things are looking. Yep, yep. My eyes are so red allergies today. Allergies are so bad. But anyway, I will be back in a few hours. I am actually getting ready to go on a kind of a spontaneous little mom's night out that our neighborhood has like a monthly mom's meetup and I haven't been in like a year. So I um, thought I would go. So I wanted to show you the makeup before I head out. It is um, about 7.30 and this is what my makeup looks like. I did just touch up with powder and I have my um, Ricky tall mirror with my lights on. I have it on the brightest setting, I think. There we go, that's a little brighter. Um, and I wanted to show you as I'm looking. So um, the foundation is definitely settling into my pores here. I can see that. And then it also is like gathering around my nose. Do you see that right there? And it's also kind of just, it's just kind of settling in my pores. Like I can see, do you see that? It's kind of hard to tell there, but I can clearly see where it is settling in pores or texture in my skin. It doesn't really look terrible. It doesn't look bad, but there is that happening. And how long has it been? It's been eight hours, a little over eight hours. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, I mean, it looks good enough. I'm going to go out. I'm not going to redo my foundation. I'm going to leave it as is. But um, I think I'm a little kind of disappointed with how it looks at this point. So... I will um, check in with you guys in just a bit, and that'll be my last check-in for the night. Hey friends, so it is about 10, 15 p.m., so I've had the foundation on for about 11 hours now. Um, I ended up going out tonight. There was a neighborhood mom's meetup, and it's like they do these monthly, and I've missed the last 12, <laughs> so terrible. And uh, so I ended up going last minute to this, and I ended up touching my, up my makeup. I put on um, a little bit of the ColourPop pressed powder. I kind of just touched up the foundation, but I did not add anything aside from that. So all in all, I touched up today twice, um, and I wanted to give you guys kind of a recap of how we look. My eyes are so red. How my allergies today on top of dry eye and having a glass of wine. I'm so dehydrated. It's just my eyes are a little dry and red, but... Um, I wanted to recap you guys. I did just look in the mirror. So all in all, my thoughts on this foundation and how it performed today, 
keep in mind, I did not use a primer and I did not use a setting spray. Um, it's a good foundation. I'm not completely blown away with it. Um, the cons are that I found it to settle in my pores a little bit around the eight hour mark. Settled, settled in my pores, settled around my nose. Um, I wouldn't say it looked the most natural, but it definitely didn't look heavy or cakey or anything. All in all, it's a good foundation. I would recommend this foundation. I do think I need to play with it a little more, bit more. I'm very interested to see how it wears with an actual primer and a setting spray because I think that that will really help the longevity and also help with the um, way that it wears on pores. So that is my review. I think all overall, I probably had higher expectations for it, I guess. I kind of expected it to just be perfect all day long, but you know what? I live in Texas. It was 102 degrees today, so what can I expect? But I think it looks good. Do you guys think it looks good? I think it looks good. I would probably give this foundation a 7.5 out of 10. That's what I would give it. But anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you all in my next one. Bye-bye. Hey friends, I wanted to pop on one more time because I realized after filming that video that I filmed a day after I had a dermaplane facial and BBL treatment done to my face, which can kind of alter the skin a little bit. So I wanted to give it one more try um, and kind of film at the end of the day. It is about 5.30 right now. This has been on since about 8.30 a.m. I have touched up a couple of times. I have to say that in the areas that I wore my sunglasses, you can see that it's kind of gathered there. Um, it's definitely gathered around my nose. It definitely settles in the texture of my skin. Um, it's definitely moved on my nose. You can see spots that it's kind of faded and just kind of settled. Around here, you can see that it's faded there. Um, it looks pretty shiny. I have touched up a couple of times today, but I just wanted to kind of give it one more try because I don't know, your skin can be very, very different after dermaplane facial. You know, you have no hair on the skin pretty much. So it can kind of tweak the way foundations wear. So here we are, it's been about a full week since my dermaplane facial and I, I just wanted to give it one last shot. But I think all in all, I have to say that um, this is not gonna fall in a uh, top foundation for myself. Again, foundations are so personal, right? Just because it doesn't work for me doesn't mean that this wouldn't be a fantastic foundation for you but this is my personal experience this is not one that i think um not one really i think that impressed me too much so anyway that is all for this video i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i will see you all in my next one Bye bye